All right. So A, B, C. Eh. Don't show the side labels. I, who wants side labels shown? And midpoint B, C equals midpoint. Oops. AK bisects BKC. Wait, what? What kind of condition is that? Okay. So, how do I do this? So that AK bisects BKC. Uh, all right. Um, <laughs> let me think this through. Uh, A is not even on BC, so. Okay, maybe I'll draw the rest of it first. So H is the output of the altitude, which is terrible, by the way. You should know H is all the ortho center. Um, the LB is for AK, MK. Oh my god. Okay. Um, Do I want to draw an Apollonian circle? I don't really want to draw an Apollonian circle. Thank you, Brian ZJK, for the cheer. And yes, this is GeoGebra Classic. Can you construct it backwards? Oh, I haven't read the rest of the problem yet. Let MN and BK intersect at E, MP and CK intersect at F, uh, HEF. <sighs> okay, we're just gonna do. Well, we, what I would do in an actual contest, which is I'm just going to eyeball it because I don't want to deal with it. Uh, so here's K. K is going to be free to move around. Um, yeah. And we want AKB to equal angle AKC. Uh, not CKC, angle CKA. So, that's good enough. Just draw Apollonian circle, please. Well, the problem is, like, A is not on BC. Like, otherwise, I would draw the Apollonian circle that. Wait, is it just that? No, it's not, right? Okay, anyways. So, AH is segment AH. Well, okay, and then I'm intersecting MN with BK. So, oh my god. I actually don't want AK because CK, I want like...
Okay, so already I'm just gonna... There, there's a Pappus in here already, which is the, by Pappus Theorem, um, points A, E, F, collinear, by Pappus on B, M, C, E, A, F. And that doesn't depend on the condition K, that's just true in a projective sense. Uh, people are saying B, C, E, F is cyclic. I totally believe that, but I don't see why that's true yet, so let me ignore it momentarily while I finish drawing. Uh... Okay, next is AKH and AGF. HL, so radical R. Okay, so I'm not even gonna bother drawing L for now because I think it's just a radical center. It's like you want MK intersect EF. Uh, what, what do I wanna call that point? What letter have I not used yet? Uh, let's use G, why not? We're using terrible point names anyways. So AKH is kind of weird, but... Okay, so if this is gonna be a radical axis statement, I have GF times GE anyways. All right, anyways. Sorry, let me actually read the chat now. Okay, E, ba da da. Oh, draw ink. <sighs> That's smart, yes. Uh, the correct thing to do is draw BCK first. Uh, okay, I didn't catch that. Is that a right angle? Is like, hey, just gonna be the ortho center of like. No, no, wait, right? Nah. So, yes, uh, yeah, for everyone that said, so drawing BKC first is definitely correct. Uh, I don't know if I want to take the time to redraw the whole diagram. Actually, on GeoGebra, it's pretty easy, right? <sighs> Alright, we'll, we'll do the following. Um, but we'll redefine k to be a random point. I'm gonna let t be the intersection of the angle bisector of bkc with the line bc. And then I will let a equals 2 times k minus t. Okay. Ahaha, <laughs> magic. It really looks like that's a right angle. You guys think that's a right angle? I'm gonna hide a K, replace it with this AT. I'm having trouble seeing what's going on, so I'm gonna start using some colors as well. I think the circles are probably mostly a distraction. There's a bunch of past lines associated with Pappus's theorem. I'm gonna take these and make them all the same color. That's easier to see. We already know line EF, and that line EF will be pretty good, so we'll come. I'll draw that out. Circles I'm less sympathetic to. I'm gonna make them actually dotted because I don't think they really matter yet. Okay, so... Okay, so people are telling me there's nice hostage travels. Give me a moment. I. I just finished drawing the diagram. Okay, okay. Da, da, da. Angle bisector. What do I do with the angle bisector condition? It's like AT. Like this line is an. So is it like BF is parallel to CE and then like also parallel to the A bisector? Is that what's going to happen? Uh, why would that be true? Uh, this is a midpoint. Submit 
Yeah, I haven't really done anything with the midpoint condition. Um, <laughs> I guess like, okay, AP MN is a parallelogram. And then... Uh, what's going on? So I, this big guy here is a parallelogram. And then I'm gonna... I'm just gonna hide the circles for now. I re it really looks like that's a right angle at G, and I have no idea why that would be true. Uh, but the green lines still meet at right angles. Like, it's not an ortho center. But. How do I use the angle bisector condition? I want to like not cheat and measure the angle because it's not needed yet anyways. Yeah. Yeah, we used Papa's theorem once already. It's just, there, there's like two Euclidean conditions here, right? One is that the P and N are the midpoints and the other is that, uh, Wait, okay, so there's literally like, oh, wait, let, let me get this, this AN, these two triangles are ac actually congruent, like NMC, PM, so I copy this length here, does this one do anything good? This is like, this is like half of, it's this angle, that's strange, um, ah. this is angle A, this is angle A, this is angle A, angle A, angle A, these are all angle A. Um, To make the letters clearer, I can zoom in slightly, not a lot. Are all the lengths equal across perpendicular bisector of AT? I'm not sure what that means. Oh, on the diagram. Uh, yes.
It's possible to find FA over AE. Maybe. Okay, so if BK over K, we have like some random angle bisector nonsense, like BK over KC. Like FA over AE is equal to FK over KE, BK over KC. So like, is it? All right, now no, I actually just want to know. Are those cyclic? I don't think they're cyclic, are they? Oh no, they're actually cyclic. So what's going on here? Why are they cyclic? BF parallel, like why is BF parallel AK parallel EC? Uh, what? Okay, I I'm missing something. What am I missing? <sighs> what am I missing? Okay, okay, I, I hear the parallel. Uh, I'll do that. I'll draw it in now. I just don't see why. Is it like the Pappus is like this is a parallelogram? So is the Pappus tell? Oh. Okay, fine. Pappus on A, B, C, and E and K. It's not called Pappus if you have triangles, right? That's like. Uh. E and K. Okay, this is, this is a projective theorem I should know. What What is... What am I saying? It's like the triangles B, P, F, and C, and E are perspective or something like that. Let me, let me get this right so I don't... So that I don't confuse myself later. Uh, so the claim is that triangles B, P, F, and... B, P, F, and E, and C are perspective because the opposite, what are the opposite intersections? It's like B, N intersect P, C, P. That's the centroid. P, F intersect N, E. So that's that point. And B, F intersect C, E. That's the thing that I wanted. Wait, what? B C P N No there wait now now I'm very confused. Uh, what just happened? That's not correct. What did I mess up? Uh, no, it's B E intersect C F. Wait, okay, sorry. The thing I just wrote is just false, right? What am I trying to do? I want. Uh, I'll stop messing up. This arc does not come naturally to me. It's like I want the opposite sides of. 
Am I just confusing the way to Sarkos? BN intersect CP. Yeah, BN intersect CP is like the centroid, right? It's on AM. It is a sign of old age that I can't remember how Desarc's theorem goes anymore. Is it like... It's a thing that generalizes homotopy, so it should be intersection opposite sides, like BF, CE, BP, CN, PF, and NE. What's the shout out? Shout out to Biswa, Dev, Roy, O, W, O for saying certain words in chat. Okay. This is embarrassing. We're going to take a 30 second ad break while I go look up the Sark's theorem so I feel a little less stupid. Um, courtesy of whoever requested an ad break. <sighs> yeah, it's what I think it is. It's the. So, what is going on? Why, why is this giving me garbage? BC, NP, EF. They're not concurrent, right? Because PN and BC mean infinity. But... Oh, okay. I'm just being stupid. Okay, so they're both false. <sighs> what am I trying to do? I want BP... I flipped the order of the triangles, didn't I? Do I want ENC? Is that the way it goes? PF intersect... NC... And BF intersect C. Okay! <laughs> It's so, it's, it's, uh. ah. Yeah. Yeah. It's so strange to me that it's flipped, actually. Shout out to Biswadev from Biswadev Roy. Thanks, Flamestorm, for the cheer. Um, for Connor, low, low one. Um, I do teach classes, but I only teach Olympia class by now. And that's, like, actually takes up more time than I have. Um... Yeah. More Bizquad DevRoy shoutouts from Dotted Calculator. Are you good at contest integrals like integral B type stuff? No, I'm really not. Okay, so now that I finally got the Pappas correct, this is the right order. Shoo shoo shoo. And let me now verify because B E. Cool. Okay. So Desar gives that B F is parallel to C E. Which is that even what I want? I know they're parallel now, so it's a trapezoid. Um. But that doesn't... That's not what I was going for, actually. I was going for AT. I wanted, like, AT to be part of it. So, do I do the same argument again with a different pair of triangles? <sighs> yeah, th isn't this literally an Apollonius problem? Slow down. I don't. I, I'm so old. I don't remember Desarc theorem anymore, so I, I can't keep, keep up. Uh, okay, so these are parallel. We know also. To, to How do you get parallel? So when I do Desarc, these two triangles are per perspective because B, E, C, F, and P, N are concurrent at this point K. So what that means is Desarc tells us the opposite. The corresponding sides should intersect on a line. But these corresponding sides are the sides of these parallelograms, like this uh, BP intersect uh, EN and cyclically. So it tells us that these two black lines um, meet at infinity. Uh, yeah. I still haven't used the angle bisector condition yet. This is still true independent of the angle bisector. So I really need to use that at some point. Uh, BK over KC 
is equal to... Alright, I better write this because I think it will come up eventually, but I don't quite see. BK over KC equals BT over TC. And also, KF over KE is equal to FA over AE. And I think these should be equal. So, is there a reason why I also have this parallel to this guy? It should also just be for purely projective reasons. I want these three guys to concur. Um, when does that happen? Oh yeah, if you have thought- wait, EDU accounts get free Amazon Prime? I had no idea. BFAMCE Conquer. Why doesn't they Sarg's theorem? Which day Sarg am I using? Oh, on the two triangles. Okay, yeah, that's, that's what I thought. Okay, triangles. I was like, this feels like it's still within projective. So triangles BAC and FME are also perspective because the opposite sides, BA and FM, meet at PKN. So Desara gives EF, BF, AM, CE concurrent. Okay, so now, now I have that. The latter two are equal. So, um... I saw Celeste Trapezoid. Although I feel like that should have been, was that true even? No, you actually need it. So now I get the cyclic, great. Uh, did I FTE? Sorry, yes, FTE is meant, that, that is correct. Shout out to Isaac Zhu, the geolord who can solve in half a second from tree 69420. Okay, so we finally have a following. The, the whole big thing is an isosceles trapezoid, which I, for some reason I thought couldn't be true, but it's just true. Uh, we have this big isosceles trapezoid. K is like some random point. A is like some other thing, da da da. Now what's the thing I need to do? I have this G. I want to show it's on the radical axis of like some random stuff. Uh, it's like AKH. So I haven't even dealt with H yet. Um, mm -hmm. Do I even still need the triangle at this point? Can I just like erase it? Probably not, right? If I start from my Celsius trapezoid... Uh... Yeah, I probably don't want to erase it. Well, actually... Uh, problem statement finally got cut off. It's like, if I start with an isosceles trapezoid, is that the same number of degrees of freedom? It should be, right? So it seems like I should be able to just start with an isosceles trapezoid and then like, you know, K is that thing and then you draw the line parallel through A and then black magic is supposed to happen. Is that true? It feels like the number of degrees of freedom is right. Is that correct? But. Is that true? If, if I start with an isosceles trapezoid, that's news to me actually though. I'm a little surprised that's true. Okay, anyways, uh, we think this is a right angle, right? So, uh, okay, I'll put the circles back in. It's about time. So, da da da. I want it on the radical axis of AKH is the one is the circle that's annoying. Um, G looks sort of like it's incomplete in some way. Like I feel like I want to finish that picture. So, do I construct this point and then try to show that? Okay, let's. I'm gonna take a stab. Reflect K over line EF. Okay, my guess is right. Awesome. 
Oh, let's call that point. K L. I used up K L. Oh my god. Well, call it J. Why not? Oh, that's so bad though. It's not. It doesn't feel like a J point. Is being on the radical axis equivalent to the right angle? Hang on. Uh. Is it because like? I see. Okay. Once it's no. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Uh, give me a moment. EF passes through the center of AKH. Call Q. or right, I'll call Q. Okay. So my claim is that there's a right angle and. If I can show there's a right angle, then GE times GF was apparently going to be equal to this thing, like KG times GQ, and Q is also supposed to apparently lay on this circle, um, where Q is actually the reflection, is where I am at. Uh, wait, that didn't work. What am I doing? Is it a right angle? Okay. N it is a right angle, right? Oh, maybe it's not a right angle. All right. <sighs> Is my K accurate? No, I reconstructed the diagram to be like an exact diagram. So now... It's not a right angle, really? A am I just getting... What's going on? I'm very confused now. What am I missing? something up. What is it? How did I define Q? Did I misdefine Q? No, it's a reflection of KQ across EF. Why does that lie on the circle? Then... I mean, it doesn't matter because in that case it's not the point I want anyways. I was thinking to like take MK and have it intersect the circle at the other end. Uh... Okay, which Apollonia circle am I supposed to draw? Do you want me to like... <sighs> draw all. <laughs> Triangle FKE.
Uh, okay, okay. Oh, okay, I see. I, I, I understand. Because the point is that the exterior bisector is the common perpendicular bisector of all these guys, and I better just draw it, right? So we're going to let L be the perpendicular bisector of line AT. Segment, sorry. You can't take a perpendicular bisector of a line. Right, and the, the, the point is that this will give us a gazillion harmonic things because you get the right angle and but also this point is just important so i'm out of points again uh we're going to call this one z z is intersection of line ef <sighs> yeah somehow it's like i see the isos oh that's useful to know let's let's distort this picture a lot all right, one moment, please. This picture needs to be zoomed a little bit. So, yeah. Yeah, okay, 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 fine. It is the angle bisector, so because AK equals KH, this is gonna, this seems like it's making sense. Um, so this segment became way more important. Uh, no, not K, not K. So we have the isosceles trapezoid, so we complete the isosceles trapezoid by making this big isosceles triangle. And... Uh, why did that not work? Hello? ZC! There. So let's complete the isosceles trapezoid and then let me work out what happens. So first I claim that uh, these four points are cyclic. This is an angle bisector, AK is equal to KH. This angle is like something. It's like twice something, uh, da da da. Yeah, this, uh. All right, let, let, me, let me convince myself it's cyclic. One step at a time. Uh, it's like, do I use power point from T or something? No, I don't. Is it click by right angles? Oh. <laughs> Wait, no. What? Which right angles? Uh, I, I'm talking about Z-A-K-H. Oh, yes, okay, I agree. There are right angles. <sighs> God damn it. Uh, okay, so Z-A-K-C cyclic since diameter Z-A. I am not thinking straight. Jeez. <sighs> ah! Okay, so that's cyclic. You have the angle bisector, great, great, great. Now you want G to be on the radical axis. So you want, I want GF times GE to equal GA times GZ. And that looks like it's gonna be some random projective stuff. Uh, where, where's, okay. That, I think this through slowly. This is diameter AZ. So it's equal to GK squared. So I just need GK squared equals GF times GE. So GK squared is GF times GE. Uh, why is that true? Yeah, sorry, ZAK adjustment. It's not GK squared? Like AKZ is a right angle, right? So ZG times GA. Oh, sorry. Ah, I keep thinking that's a right angle because it really looks like a right angle, but it's not, it's not. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. MK, 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 MK. Radical center. I could draw a third circle. What third circle do I want? Uh, well, 
What is the determinant for finding when two lines meet? In what system? For Geico Lizard. Oh my god. Well... Oh, is this a median? I always miss this! No! 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 I never see this! Every time! Uh. Uh, no! Okay, sorry. What happened is, um, because this is a cyclic quad and KM is a, is a median, it means KG is a median. When this happens, like, this is a thing. Like, if you have a cyclic quad and you take the intersection of diagonals, um, if one of the guys is a median, the other one's a median. This is... Ah. Yeah, you smell 2019 too, among other things. Like, I, I always miss this. I, I always miss it. I've never gotten it a single time. Every time. <sighs> okay, so GK's a comedian. Okay, uh, so I guess what happens is you have triangle EKF, K is the angle bisector, KG is the median, KZ is the external bisector, um, and wait, that's true. So just kind of. Shouldn't you extend NP uh, to hit EZ? At this point, I don't really care, honestly. I mean, I could, but now, now the problem is self-contained. Like, it's just this triangle EKF. This is a bisector, median, external bisector, and you, you want to show... that it's on the radical axis. So the radical axis is supposed to be the case median of EKF. Wait, really? That's true. I feel like I should know this. So the radical axis of the Apollonian and the original circle is the Sumerian. Really? Why didn't anyone tell me this was true? Uh... Thank you, Dotted Calculator, for the subscription. Wait, wait, wait. I don't believe this. This is true. What's the oh, you rupee invert? Okay, that's fine. I see. The point is that the the midpoint goes to the thingy. And the midpoint is on the radical axis. There, th hmm. Another quad length ratio.
I'm surprised there isn't like just an ankle proof or, or like a power of a point like straight proof of this actually. I guess it's like saying the Semedian contact. Well, hmm. Like the, if I draw this point, this is like a harmonic quad and I want this guy to be a harmonic quad too. Or not harmonic, uh... This is so strange. I mean, I, I agree it's true, it just feels weird to me. How, how do you do it with the harmonic quads? It's like... Hey, this is a harmonic, that's the... At the harmonic point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, you mark this point. Wow, it's called D. Apparently, we haven't used D yet. Uh, and then, why is this cyclic? I guess, oh, okay. I, I, you want to show it lies on the Apollonian, but like D, E. Okay, okay, I get it. D, F over D, E is equal to this ratio as well, because it's a harmonic quad. Okay, okay, okay. All right, we did it. <sighs> All right. Okay, one less around TST to do. <sighs> I'll open the floor for any questions at this point because we, um, I threw off the stream by screaming f for a while. What is the best geo problem source? Uh, depends on. I'm not sure how to say. Sherrigan. Sherrigans are good. Sh like, I don't know about best. I will say examples of good sources. Most Iran TST, Sherrigan, um, USA TST, maybe. Yeah. Also, stuff from Brazil is probably good because uh, Carlos Shine teaches there. Taiwan is actually real good too now these days, yeah. Alright.